I know you're in there. I'll wait all night if I have to. No, 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 mate, just calm down a bit, OK? <laughs> Olivia had a bit of a wobble, but I've spoken to her and she doesn't believe a word they've told her. But listen, we can't use the payphone. If Tim does go to the police, they're bound to check it again and things could get awkward, which is why I'm going to have to go away for a few days. No, 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 not too long. Just until things have died down a bit here. If something's come up, Olivia, just uh, give us a second, sweetheart. Must get confusing calling your wife by your daughter's name. I don't know about you, but I'm finding all this a bit tiresome now. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's why I thought we should mix things up a little bit. This time, when I ask you questions, you're going to tell the truth. Or I'm going to start breaking bones. Are you serious? Yeah. You're going to get on the phone. You're going to call the police and you're going to tell them about how you set up Sally. They'll come here and then they'll arrest you. Is that right? Get in the house. <laughs> Stop! Stop! We're both too out of shape for this. Sorry? Speak for yourself. Did you give up? Well, what exactly are you trying to achieve? Huh? A confession. Because even if what you're saying was true, I'd only deny it if I went to the police. And I would go to the police. Only if you were still alive. Oh, I'd be all right. Because if I was dead, I couldn't change my story, could I? And are you going to get Sally out of prison then? Let's just face it, Tim. I'm untouchable. You all right, mate? Can you hear me? No, no. 